What's going on, you guys? A couple of days ago, Slytherin made an announcement on a Twitch stream of a new game called Never Dark. And this game is a post-apocalyptic game where you're basically like a leader of a faction and your job is to take over a city here. And it's actually using real cities and real maps. Uh, a lot of it pulled from uh, Google Maps, uh, from what I understand. Um, and it comes a whole slew of things like political decisions, events, but let's dive into the Steam page here. All right, so this is Never Dark. You got this little trailer here that they have. And as you can see, uh, nice animations but basically here are some of the screenshots uh it's a top-down view you could also do it at like an angle but basically you take over the city um block by block in essence and they literally sculpted actual buildings uh that you could actually take over so if you want to like uh take over the eiffel tower which i think this is probably where that is uh you can do that and the block that uh, you know it remains on and such so uh, this is a very interesting take on a post-apocalyptic strategy game. I, I like this. It kind of, you know, I, I know there's no zombies in here, but it kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead a little bit. You know, I feel like it's Walking Dead meets almost like a close combat meets, and it has like that superpower, I don't know if you guys remember the game Superpower, but it has that superpower flavor where it's like uh, in terms of the user interface here because everything's like neon and, you know, like gray and gold and stuff like that. So... Uh, let's look at this game. Uh, 2030, a global blackout happened. Instant, the world lost access to electricity. Suddenly, suddenly, so many things that we've taken for granted were gone. The internet, global communication, electronic devices, all gone. Warmers, as governments fell and societies collapsed in upon itself. Guns, medicine, and food became the new currencies, while survival and protection became the sole necessities. Conflicts continued for years as ordinary people battled against famine, disease, the elements, and other humans. A new world arose from the ashes of the old one. Each survivor enclave had a different idea on how to shape their new society. Bands of raiders, religious cults, biker gangs, uh, idealistic democratic communes, and organizations built around charismatic leaders. Cities were once again battlegrounds, but was no longer for survival. It was now for domination. All right, so there's a... Uh Oh, a bit of content. Okay, cool. All right, real-time strategy simulation gameplay Never Dark is a pausable RTS game which throws you in a, into a post-apocalyptic world following global blackout society has collapsed and it will be your goal to rebuild it. You lead a group of survivors, Rick from Walking Dead, and you will need to contend with other factions over the control of the city. Invest resources and expand your influence to take over the city. Street by street, Never Dark is as much about politics and social evolution as it is about combat. That's awesome. I feel... I feel honestly like you're you're basically putting the steps of Rick from Walking Dead. Um, now, also, I did not see the last season of Walking Dead, so I'm talking about beginning of like season eight, season nine kind of thing, uh, where he's fighting, having that war with the um, I think warriors. No, that's a whole different movie. Anyway, uh, real cities and real maps. In Never Dark, you play in a fallen, ruined city. It, it is in desperate need of being rebuilt, and it will be your task to adapt it to the harsh conditions with makeshift infrastructure. Each map takes a shape of a real existing city, Paris, New York, and Tokyo. Ooh, I love that New York's included in this. That's awesome. All right, I'm from Brooklyn, so if the <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is take over my block, <laughs> you'll find yourself leading your citizens and expand across familiar streets, taking over existing buildings and repurposing them. Perhaps you might want to use the Louvre Museum as a seat of your black market, or it might be a good idea to, throw your, to grow your crops on rooftop farms in Brooklyn. Building placement needs to be strategic and thoughtful where, they are, where their place and the consequence of that choice rests entirely in your hands. I'm thinking about rooftop farms. I don't understand why I never did that. I never we did that in Brooklyn. Like, we have these small little backyards and, like, the size of, like, you know, like, four feet, you know, we grew. But, you know, we had a roof there, which was, like, massive. So I don't understand why we didn't do that. Anyway, new type of society has emerged, one without a central government. Your goal is to react to dynamic, random events which force you to decide between doing what is ethically right and what is politically advantageous. Um, new laws must be passed and the edicts must be enforced if civilization is to evolve and adapt to ever-changing conditions. Tactical combat. One way or another, you need to deal with other groups competing for control of the city. Both you and your enemies have powerful, influential agents at your disposal. You will need to send those t agents, known as in-game as specialists, across the city to perform political and military tasks. A political agitator in a neighborhood where two factions are fighting for dominance may help sway the locals into supporting you. But should that fail and you find the enemy has gotten there first, a good long-range motivator with a rifle could be equally effective. 
Inevitably, the streets must turn crimson with bloodshed, and it will be your duty to lead your crew of specialists in tactical turn-based combat missions. Nice. All right, so... Interesting. So the... Um, it's a real-time strategy game, I guess, when it's a strategic layer, but I guess when it goes to combat, it becomes turn-based. Interesting. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like this. Uh, it's publisher Slytherin and developer Simtract. Now, from what I understand from the, um, the uh, sh Twitch stream, the game is uh, projected, I believe, for 2019, so I believe this game is coming out this year. Uh, overall, guys, I'm really psyched for this. Uh, I'm definitely going to play the uh, New York mission because, dude, I'm going to start from my block and move out. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, uh, I look forward to this game, guys. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope uh, you guys are going to follow them. I'm, I'm definitely going to put them on my um, on my YouTube and uh, follow them on Twitter. So that's one thing I'm going to do. Hopefully you guys do the same, and I will catch you guys in the next one.